Hello, this is Dr. Gay. This is another patient from the same day, actually the very next patient who had an arthrogram of their elbow joint. They're a college athlete like the last patient. This is a male who plays baseball. He had ulnar sided pain, chronic, and this is a view of his elbow. We're looking straight on. This is a fat suppressed T2 sequence, so fluid is bright here. And we see the ulna, this is the ulna, and the little pointy part along the edge here, this is called the sublime tubercle. And that last patient, she had a tear right at the UCL attachment to the sublime tubercle. There's a little vertical band, but this is a normal attachment of the distal uh, 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 medial ulnar collateral ligament. So here's, here it is coming down, down, nice and dark and black. And right at the attachment, there's no cleft of fluid going in there, nice and beautiful. Now if we follow this up though in this patient, there's fogginess where it attaches to the humerus. So there is the posterior band of the medial ulnar collateral ligament. There's two bands. And this is the posterior one where there's a horizontal ledge. Usually it's ill-defined. This one, again, is ill-defined, maybe partially torn. If we go to the anterior band, it's over here on this view. And right here where it attaches, it's just poorly defined and thickened. So this patient has a partial tear of the ulnar collateral ligament, the medial ulnar collateral ligament at the humeral attachment. And then the distal attachment to the sublime tubercle appears normal. Again, that last patient had just the reverse. They had a tear right here, but uh, the proximal attachment was fine. Now, if we look over on the radial side, this is the lateral side. We see, again, these components. We have the radial collateral and lateral ulnar collateral ligaments that blend together over here deep. And then superficial, we have the common extensor tendon complex, and they all are bunched together. really can't tell them apart. And that's it. Thank you very much.